What is up guys, this is Luke Hill for Kit Guru, and no, I'm not going on a fancy holiday. This is AMD Ryzen Threadripper. So as you can see, big box for a big processor, I guess. So of course, this is what the review is samples shipping in. This is a nice sturdy, feels like polycarbonate perhaps, a flight case. And well, there's not much to say about it. It's got a fancy AMD logo on the front. It's got our own Kit Guru logo on the front there, which is a pretty cool touch from AMD. And Basically, there's not much more to say. Let's get inside. So here are the AMD Ryzen Threadripper samples. We have the 1920X, the 12 core, 24 thread, $800 beast to my left. And we have the 16 core, 32 thread, 1950X, this $1,000 beast here on my right. So as you can see, these come in boxes and uh, a lot of people have been talking about this. So I've heard things from Cyclops to the Eye of Sor I have something off Lord of the Rings. I'm, I'm the worst geek ever. I don't watch Lord of the Rings. I do apologize. Um, to also HAL 9000, I believe, is the other one. Uh, everybody seems to have an opinion on what these boxes look like. And yeah, they're certainly unique, to say the least. So in the center, we also have a, quite a nice memento, actually. So this is a glass or plastic type of case. And inside there, there's actually what I assume is a fake AMD Ryzen Threadripper processor with the Kit Guru logo uh, etched or laser cut onto the heat spreader, which is a really nice touch actually. So this doesn't really change the performance of anything. It's just a cool touch from AMD. Um, it's a nice memento for all the hard work and effort that we put into the review. So no problems there. Thanks a lot for that. Very nice keepsake. And as we can see on this keepsake, our chip is actually number 53 of 250 on this specific memento here. So here we are with the two Ryzen Threadripper samples, the 12 core, the 16 core. And this is the first time I've actually unboxed these. So I'm going to lift the lid and reveal the magic right here on camera. So let's start first with, of course, the flagship, the 1950X. So let's park the 1920X to the side for a second. So this 1950X comes in a kind of a, a form type box, which is protection. And there's a bit on the back saying, unlock the power. Oh, wow. Thrilling. So we are told to rip here straight along the line where all the specifications are held, which is quite unfortunate. So I'll have to make do with my photos after I've shot this video but it'd be rude not to listen to instructions, right? And that is clearly not the cleanest rip you'll ever see, but oh well, it does a good job. And actually there are instructions on the back of this piece of paper. So I can see that they're actually telling me how to unbox and open the box. So I've never needed instructions to unbox a processor before. So I guess, you know, first 16 core I've seen, first for everything, right? So let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing is you move, oops, Okay, that was very lucky. Uh, well, I guess I've skipped step one and step two, so I can go on the floor somewhere. Thrilling. Um, so you basically, you remove the form. And there's even thread ripper etched onto the form. You remove the other piece of form. Let's hold this carefully. And you take out the casing. So I assume the CPU is in here. So in this other piece of form, you've actually got some driver stuff. And, ooh, that is a large large sticker. So everything about this CPU, this platform is large and the sticker is no exception there. So kudos to AMD for uh, including a fittingly large sticker with their fittingly large processor. So let's put that away. And with the CPU, there's actually another thing included here. Ah, so this is a uh, tool. So it's a hex tool used to uh, unlock the socket because as you'll see there's the TR4 socket is very unique in its design so it actually needs three hold down points so this is basically an AMD Ryzen Threadripper um, tool that you can use to install and remove the CPU so that's that's cool it's a good touch from AMD that they don't leave it a chance that people will have the correct hardware lying around because they may not these are non-standard hex tools so they're not particularly common like a Phillips head screwdriver or just the latch on the Intel LGA sockets so Kudos to AMD for including that. Um, it's got some metrics written on there. Born, boring, yawn, who cares? Um, so, and then we've got by default included. Now this is a good inclusion actually. So this is an Acer Tech style mounting bracket. So this is an adapter for uh, thread ripper mounting points. So, sorry, <clears throat> X399 TR4 socket mounting points. So this is uh, very good. So if you've got an Acer Tech style cooler such as the uh, numerous models from Corsair and other vendors like NZXT, then fantastic, you can use this. You can remove the default bracket, which is AM4 compatible, uh, LGA 2011-3 or LGA 1150 or 115X, sorry, 
compatible and you can install this and you can use your current cooler with AMD Ryzen Threadripper. So nice touch by AMD and I mean quite frankly this is a handful of dollars of metal and this isn't much either so on a $1000 or $799 processor these aren't going to make much difference to the cost so there's no harm in including them so yeah credit to AMD there nice to see them include it. And now it's time to see the actual beast so the instructions are telling me to remove this lever of that anti-clockwise so let's listen and this is the first time I've actually done this so let's hope this works oh okay oh wow so right okay this is a fair weight to that wow so the, the CPU is actually stuck to this mechanism that comes out of the back of the box and as you can see the back of the box is largely empty and still features hollow branding hello can you see me so Ooh, I could probably put my eye through that. So you got the Ryzen Brandon in the box, but here, this is the star of the show. This is what we're interested in. This, this is Ryzen Threadripper, specifically the 1950X, the 32 thread beast. So let's unlock this somehow. Uh, right, so I should probably read the instruction manuals, but you know, that's boring. Don't really want to do that. So I'm not going to. Um, and I'm probably going to break something. Okay, there's a latch. What do I do with that? Oh, that's, that is, that's doing something. Hmm. Yeah, looks like I'm actually going to have to read the instructions. So, wow, I've never had to read instructions to unbox a processor, and I didn't think that would change today. So, supposedly, I squeeze both sides and then lift. So, maybe... Ah! This is not easy, I'm not going to lie, so... Ah, there we have it. So you have to remove this retention uh, piece of metal, and then you squeeze this side, I assume? Ah, good. So you squeeze this side, remove the face plane. Wow, this, why is this so difficult? I mean, yeah, this is a large process, but come on. It doesn't have to be that difficult to remove a CPU from the box. This is crazy. Ah, right, now, good. So we can remove this thing. I mean, wow. So you see where a lot of the budget's been allocated. <laughs> I'm joking. So this is AMD Ryzen Threadripper, a 1950X. And this is what 16 cores of consumer processing power feels like. And let me tell you, there's a weight to it. So I don't have a banana for scale but I will find one. So this, if you compare this to the size of my hands, so I'm quite tall, I'm not just over six foot, and I have large hands. That's the size of my palm. If you want to compare it to a Fitbit, for example, it absolutely dwarfs a Fitbit. This CPU is absolutely monumental. This is huge. And you can see all of the pins on the back. So of course we've got the split section, which is, uh, noticeable for AMD Ryzen Threadripper. It's actually a, quite a nice heat spreader. This is a full cover heat spreader, which is very, very large, which I imagine is attributing to the lot of the weight on this. So that's ideal because if you've got a cooling mechanism that can mount across this entire heat spreader, you're unlikely to get dead zones, even though the dies are located primarily towards the center and that's where the heat needs to be removed from. And now it's time for us to unbox the 12 core version of AMD's Ryzen Threadripper CPU. So it's the same procedure, peel the tab, and, oops, okay, that was a terrible peel. Peel the tab properly, and then the label should come off, which it does. Uh, just keep the instructions handy, again. Uh, remove the foam, remove the foam. So again, we've got the AMD stuff in there, so the retention bracket, the uh, hex tool and the large stickers for Ryzen Threadripper and then I'm now a little more familiar with the procedure so I know what to do so I turn anti-clockwise on the back lock this out of position put that down there and here we see the 12 core behemoth for AMD's Ryzen Threadripper so the 1920X Oh, that is tough, I'm not going to lie. So this is very secure. I'd be astonished if these get damaged in, in shipping. Uh, so kudos to AMD on that front, actually. 
Oh, this is not easy, I'm not going to lie. Thankfully, removing a CPU from its box is a one-time task, and I don't think I've ever said that before. So there we have it, the 12-core AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1920X. And there it is, in all of its $799 glory. So this thing is huge. I must just get a shot of the two next to each other. So if we take the 1920X and the 1950X. So with my hands, I have a combined total of 28 cores of AMD Ryzen Threadripper computational processing power. And these things, they are not light, I'm not going to lie, they, they're heavy in the hand. And just in case you were wondering, I do have a comparison. So, for scale, we have a one pound coin, which is something that obviously our British fans will know all too well. It's one of the new multiple-sided pound coins. So, you can see the scale. It's just completely, completely dwarfs a one pound coin. And that's no mean feat. So I guess it's equivalent to perhaps like a 10% coin or something for US readers. And obviously we have the obligatory banana for scale. So this is quite a large banana as you can see. Uh, one of Morrison's finest, I guess. And you can see that compared to the banana for scale, even then the Threadripper chip looks absolutely massive. And that's just simply because it is. It's, it's absolutely huge. Uh, so there are a lot of space required to cram all those dies and all those cores in there and put enough landing points on the package. So this is by far the biggest CPU that we've ever seen comes through our through our test procedure, through our test labs. So this has been our unboxing and first look of AMD's Ryzen Threadripper. So the 1950X, the 16 core beast and the 1920X, the 12 core beast. So thanks for watching this. Do check back soon for the full review when the new platform launches in the coming days and we can see just what these uh, very large processors can bring to the table. Uh, performance may be good, it may not be, who knows at this point in time, but if anything they certainly win in the size category and if size matters to you then maybe this could be a purchase. But in all seriousness check back in a few days for the review. Uh, thanks for watching our unboxing. If you want to see more like this make sure you subscribe to the Kit Guru channel and head over to the Kit Guru website to see more of our in-depth content. I'm Luke Hill for Kit Guru. Until next time, thanks.